one of the things that we did is we said, hey, could we create a CRISPR system that's not just a little bit smaller than Cas9, but it's way smaller? And that resulted in a thing we called NanoCas, uh, you know, Nano. We actually get extremely good editing, either equivalent or better than Cas9 with these really, really tiny systems. And these really tiny systems, unlike Cas9, can actually be delivered anywhere in the body. So that's a sea change in terms of what's possible. And they can be delivered by a virus, for example? Yeah, so a classic way that you can deliver to muscle or brain, for example, would be with a thing called AV, which is another acronym that stands for adeno-associated virus. And one of the big limitations of this is that it has a very strict size limit. Think of it as like a semi-trailer truck where you can only fit so much in the back. And Cas9 is just way too big to fit inside it. Um, but these nanocast style systems uh, don't just fit, but they actually have a ton of room to spare.